If you are thinking about making YouTube videos or if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel in 2024 but you are still afraid of taking that decision, I think this video is going to be good for you. Stay with me till the end of today's video or run directly to the section where I want to start talking about that if you are not interested in my face talking to the camera. Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to talk about this small YouTube corner which you are going to see in my coming videos when I want to make a video at home because as you know as landscape photographer, woodland photographer, macro photographer I always do videos outside but sometimes I want to do also videos at home and I decided that this is this is going to be the final edition so I may obviously add some adjustment in the future for example some lighting here in this corner or lighting I don't know for another print for example but this is the final edition. I, I think I like it. This is, I, I think I like it. So one year ago, something like one year ago, you saw uh, maybe some of you saw a post in YouTube community. I made a photo. Uh, it was not like that, still not like that. Uh, but what I don't like in that photo, the, photo the, the camera, the angle was a little bit to the left. But what I don't like about that composition is that I don't, I can't, I can't use it like that. The problem is the softbox. If I want to put the camera there, the softbox will be reflected on the print and the whole print will be white. And that's why I couldn't, the angle was good. Actually, the composition was good, but I can't use it like that because I have to put the softbox right here in front of my face. But the problem, the print is reflected or not the print, <laughs> the light is reflected on the print and it didn't work. So I think uh, I, I, I like it like that actually, there's no problem with this composition. And this is not the first time I'm using this place actually. Uh, I used it in my uh, YouTube video as I was reviewing the K and F concept filter, but it wasn't like that. There were no lighting, no prints, no shelves. It was only the table. And after that, I started to work on it slowly until I have this yeah, last shape. So I'm going to talk about everything from A to Z, everything in this corner. I want also to put links in Amazon. If there's anything I didn't put a link about it, it will be from my local store here and it's not from Amazon. That's why I couldn't find it on Amazon and I couldn't find a link about it. So let's not waste a lot of time and let's start directly. Uh, I will start the first thing with the lighting. I'm using here a very cheap softbox actually. It's ASDDI. I did make a review about it something like two years ago on my channel. And I will put a link to the video and a link to the softbox itself. It's from Amazon and as I said, it's something like 24 euro. You can't find cheaper than that actually. And it does the job. I mean, I'm not using for ultra cinematic footage, you know, it's only a softbox, a soft light for YouTube videos and it does the job. I don't need more than that. And if I'm using a 1000 euro softbox, but I'm using wrong shutter speed and wrong exposure, it will look so awful. So this one does the job for me and I don't need actually more than that. So from the beginning, I'm going Everything I'm going to show you actually is the cheapest possible and I like always to do that. I don't like, I think even if I have money, if I, I don't have, <laughs> I think even if I have enough money, I don't like to exaggerate with buying expensive things. I like to buy cheap things, cheap equipments. Let's not talk about the camera and the lenses. In general, I like to buy cheap things and make them work like you know like expensive thing the most important thing is they are decent they they give decent quality and i don't care about the price if they are if they are giving decent quality this is the softbox the second light the second very 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 the second very dominant light here i'm not so dominant actually but as you can see i have here a cyan color this is from my rgb uh, this is also very cheap. I, I bought it from Amazon 20 meter for only 15 euro. And you have a lot of color as you can see. You can adjust the color as you can as you want. You can put for example red, uh, uh, green, 
it's not working green blue as you want and i prefer to put cyan why i'm going to talk i'm going to talk about that um so this is again very cheap it's only 15 euro and 20 meter i put it around the table under the table uh, the whole room the light in the whole room is visible and so beautiful the second light this one uh, this one i got it actually from a local store um, and i couldn't find something like that in amazon now i want to talk why i like the cyan color and this color together as you can see the cyan color and the orange color are the opposite colors in the color wheel and i like how they are reflecting the colors of the print as you can see the print i have the cyan color here on the sky and i have the uh, orange color and the, the glowing sun the glowing light from the sun and i feel somehow this light and the cyan color from the rgb they are reflecting the color of the print that's why i, I like them a lot so the third uh, light source this is also from local from the same local store actually and this is very easily just um, a light you know just to mm, yeah give more interest to the print because like that the, the print is a little bit dark you know and just to add a little bit of interest a little bit of yeah lighting to the print itself so this is the only three light source the softbox the rgb or the four actually this one here and this small light so after that i want to talk about the three prints that i have here the last one is so small actually the both these both are so small actually and this one is bigger why i choose this one now talking about long exposure photography i think this is my best photo ever uh, talking about only long exposure photography because in general i think i still have more beautiful photos i like i like this photo a lot actually we had i i'm saying we because i was with sebastian my friend sebastian we had to drive something like half an hour on the on the bike and it was so so exhausting but i'm totally tired to reach this leg and we we we, we reached the lake i think it like 10 minutes before the sun started to show up and yeah we were lucky we were lucky with the glowing sun the sunrise was so was so beautiful and i like it because you know you have a strong subject which is the boat and the sky the yeah the glowing sun the color of the sky i think we were we were lucky with taking this photo the second photo is only normal photo of my kids actually uh yeah because yeah you know they are my kids and yeah i wanted to have a photo of them here the third photo this photo also a macro photo i wanted actually to have a landscape photo or woodland anything and on the other side i wanted to have a macro photo because you know i love both things i love landscape photography and i love macro photography now this photo i i like it a lot actually i was i was also lucky with taking it i was near the ground and you know i was taking a photo of this small flower if i can't call it like that and this small yellow leaf it was a little bit windy and the leaf it was going up and down and after that going up again and down and I, I, I think I was lucky with taking the photo that as the leaf is up, I think it gives the, you know, the feeling that it was windy, that the photo is a little bit alive. I like it. Now, you may ask me why you didn't put an insect photo, for example, a spider photo or an, anything like that. I think if I did that, my wife won't enter this room again. <laughs> I know that a lot of, a lot of women actually don't like insects so i think this flower is more beautiful than insects now let's talk about uh, these two shelves uh, these two shelves are from ikea and every one of them is only 10 euro and uh, they are also 
again they are also so cheap every one of them is 10 euro i did i couldn't find them in amazon actually uh, so and as you can see they are just decoration they are not real obviously they are just plastic and you know just to give a little bit of yeah to give a little bit of life to the to the corner i have this one here this one and the third one there they are from a local store here german people know it's very famous uh, it's um, teddy the teddy market is so cheap actually you can find there things like two euro three euro and yeah i just want you as i said i just want to add more life to the to the corner i like because i like green color i love green color and i have also this one here. it's very small box um, you can you know you can put anything you want inside and at the same time it's like a small decoration nice and small decoration and here on the other side i have my printer it doesn't have anything uh, to do actually with youtube i just yeah need it for anything here i want to do any paper i want to print it doesn't print photos only for paper uh, you know for any paper i need to print anything i have to send i use this printer so talking about the table i want to talk about the table actually this is also from amazon it's again it's so cheap and the funny part is that i i bought it as i remember something like 85 euro and yesterday i was just checking if it's still available on amazon to put link to put a link for you and i found that it's cheaper now it's something like 70 euro and to have all this place it's something like 90 centimeter and small corner 90 centimeter to have all this space for only 70 euro it's so perfect and for me it, it does the job again and i like i like so much this brown of brown color of the wood and yeah it's so steady and i don't need more than that it's perfect just perfect the chair that i'm using right here i got it also from a local store that's why i couldn't find it on amazon but it, it's not that you know very complicated it's a normal chair you can find on amazon for something like 60 70 euro i bought it for 70 euro you can find a lot of chairs on amazon for 70 60 euro so i just had to you know bring my uh, kid from the kindergarten and to do some stuff so let's continue what i was talking about let's finish this video and as i said from at the beginning of today's video this is what leads me actually to the last section that i want to talk about if you are waiting you want to make a youtube video you want to start youtube channel but you are waiting to have all the equipment that i was talking about today from the camera to the mic to the tripod you are not starting making videos because you think that you have to have all of these things and at the same time you don't have the money to bring me now for example me if i want to bring all these things together i can't now i can't i'm i'm doing youtube videos since four years since 2020 i think or since i think the end of 2019 or something like that and through all these years i i i slowly put what i want i started youtube the first two youtube videos with only my phone only my phone no mic no tripod nothing at all the third video i think the third video i searched in amazon and i found that i can bring a very cheap tripod vlogging tripod and a very cheap mic actually it's something like 15 or 10 euro i will show you i'm talking about this one here as you can see it's actually it's it's broken as you can see and i fixed it and I, i'm still using i'm still using it till till today actually it's only 
something like 13 euro I think uh, something about that and I, I'm still using it till today it's perfect for the Sony ZV-1 it's it's light it's lightweight and it's perfect for for the Sony ZV-1 and I'm still using it till today and I bought also a, a very let's put it there a very cheap mic a wire mic not a wireless mic a wire mic it's something like 9 euro 10 euro and I used this mic I think for one year or something like that and after that I, I started to feel that the wire when I want to make a video the wire it's so uh, yeah I don't I don't feel free with movement and after that I, I, I found I found that I can buy another tripod, uh, not another tripod, another mic, and I got this one, the, the road mic, which is professional actually. It's yeah, it, something like fifty euro, but I I didn't I mean I didn't buy this mic from the beginning. I I I, I think one year making videos. After that, I felt that I can, I can buy this one, and that's why I bought it. If you saw my old videos, the, the, the first video at home, it was in my in very normal room uh, at the corner. The echo was completely unbelievable. It was so bad. And with my phone again, uh, with my wire uh, wire mic, and. I didn't have anything, you know, I just have my phone, the mic, and I, I made, I made video. I, I didn't say that I won't make a video because I don't have that, I don't have that, I don't want to make a video, I don't want to start YouTube channel. This is not the case. The most important thing is that you're making, you are making, making, you are making that because you love making YouTube videos, you love making uh, landscape photography vlogs for example in my situation not because you want to wait to have the last equipment the last fancy expensive equipment till today as you have just seen i'm using the cheapest possible softbox rgb you don't you don't have to wait sometimes i, I become a lot of question from from people from friends, friends of friends, for example, they know that I make YouTube videos and the first question I become, which camera should I buy if I want to make YouTube video? I directly say your phone. You can use your phone. You don't have, you don't have to buy, to buy, to buy. Don't have to buy. You don't have to have a camera. I, I have now yeah the Z V uh, the Sony Z V one, but I I got it I think one year ago or something like the the first three years of making YouTube videos was only with my phone where or where the years were only using my phone and and I I I don't know if I if I could give the idea for you or, or if I could. I bring you to the point that I want to talk about. I, I, I'm really, I'm really sure about what I'm saying. If I, if I, if I was, if I was waiting till today to have this uh, corner, you know, uh, ready and to have my vlogging camera, to have everything I want, I won't start making YouTube videos because I don't know. I don't know what, what is pushing me today to continue making YouTube videos, even if, even that my life is so busy. I am a father, I am, I am, I'm working full time, actually, you know, some of you know that. What, but what I, what pushed me to, to make more and more videos is that I started four years ago and I don't want to lose all the hard work that I did. All this, sometimes I, I say, for example, to me, I want to give up and let's, give up and but but you know when I think about the all the hard work all the days that I went out so early and I went out before sunrise and in the cold days in the you know that all, all, all when I think about all of that 
this push me to make more and more videos. But I, I imagine, I imagine, for example, if I, if I, if I had to wait until I have all of these, for example, I won't, I won't start making YouTube videos. I'm really so honest with you. Yeah. So at the end, thanks a lot for watching. I hope, I hope I could inspire you to start making YouTube videos. I hope you could find the answer in this video. I hope you could find what you are searching in this video. Don't wait for anything. Don't wait for your, for your dream camera. Don't wait for your dream studio. Start making YouTube video today. With anything. Who, who doesn't have a smartphone today? If you don't have a smartphone, don't, don't start making YouTube video. Or maybe you can take a smartphone from your father. <laughs> But really, who, who doesn't have a smartphone these days? You can start making YouTube videos today. Just go outside and do whatever you want to do. Do what you love. I don't, I, I, I don't just love making YouTube videos. I, I do YouTube videos of the thing that I love doing, which is landscape photography and macro photography. I'm not making YouTube videos only for making YouTube videos. I'm making YouTube videos of the thing that I love doing the most, which is landscape photography and macro photography. Do a YouTube video, start a YouTube channel, and it is not the end of the world if you start with your smartphone. All of us. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that like a channel who has two million subscribers, you know, I'm still so small channel, but at least I started. At least I started with my phone and I didn't wait until I have the money to buy a vlogging camera. Just start doing what you love and thanks a lot for watching.